Good morning everyone, this is me again, Sir Alan. And for today's lesson we have represents quadratic function using table of values. Okay, so marami tayong paraan na pag-present ng quadratic equation. Either table of values, either through graph, or either through equation. So, gagawin muna natin, guys, is mag-represent tayo ng quadratic function using a table of values. So, unang-unang gagawin natin is gagawa tayo ng table. The tables, table of values are x and y because we are using the function of your x through y. So, x and y gagamitin natin. So, this values of x there is predetermined. So, given, given na po yan. And we'll try to solve for the values of your y, which is for your function. Okay? So, therefore, anong unang gagawin natin is to substitute the value of your x, which, which are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, to get the values of your y. Okay? So, let's use the formula here, the original given. So, therefore, y is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. So, let's try to use first with your negative 3. So, your x is equal to negative 3. So, to get the values of your y, just substitute the value of your negative 3 to your x. So, substitute lang natin yan to your x. So, therefore, meron tayo y is equal to negative 3 squared because your x is negative 3 plus negative 3 plus 1. Ganun na po siya, guys. Huwag po kayo malilito. Okay? So, therefore, negative 3 squared is 9 plus your negative 3 plus 1. So, para di malito, gagamitin natin is combine muna natin yung like terms which is the positive 1. So, therefore, this is one, 9 plus 1 is 10 then plus negative 3. So, since we are adding unlike sign, hindi magkapareho yung sign, subtract natin. Okay? So, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. And copy the sign of your bigger number. Since your bigger number is 10 and positive, so your answer is positive 7. So, therefore, the first value of your function y there for negative 3x is positive 7. Okay? Para makompleto yan, gagawin na natin, we do the same process until we up to get with the positive 3. So, let's try negative 2. So, your x is equal to negative 2. So, therefore, we have y is equal to negative 2 squared plus negative 2 plus 1. So, negative 2 squared is positive 4 plus negative 2 plus 1. Combining the same side, so this is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5 plus negative 2. And subtract because we are adding unlike sign. Subtract natin. So, 5 minus 2 is 3. And our sign is positive. So, therefore, our y value for your x negative 2 is positive 3. Okay? So, I hope you follow this. Then, let's do negative 1. So, when your y is negative, your x is negative 1, so, therefore, this is negative 1 squared. Your x is equal to negative 1. Plus negative 1 plus 1. So, therefore, 1 squared is positive 1. Negative times negative is positive. So, therefore, one, negative 1 squared is positive 1. Plus negative 1 plus 1. Okay? So, this one will be cancelled out. Positive and negative. So, therefore, your answer there is... Positive 1. So therefore, for values of negative x, 1, your y value is positive 1. How about when your x is 0? So x is equal to 0. So therefore, this is 0 squared plus 0 
plus 1. So therefore, 0 squared is 0 plus 0 plus 1. So therefore, your answer here is positive 1. Okay? So this is also positive 1. I hope you follow, guys. So when your x is positive 1, so dito tayo, your x is positive 1, so y is equal to 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. Your x is 1, 1 squared, plus your x is 1, plus 1. So therefore, this is 1 squared is 1, plus 1, plus 1. So therefore, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is positive 3. Okay? So there you have it, guys. When your x is positive 1, your y value is positive 3. How about your x is 2? When your x is positive 2, so therefore, y is equal to positive 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. Replacing the values of your x. 2x squared plus 2, then plus 1. Okay? Huwag malito. Then, perform the operation. Ibigun natin, 2 squared is 4 plus 2 plus 1. So therefore, 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7. There you have it, guys. The value of your y when x is 2 is positive 7. Okay? Then your x is 3. So, we erase now a little less. So when your x is positive 3, so therefore y is equal to 3 squared plus 3 plus 1. Okay? Just substitute the value of your x which is 3. So therefore this is y is equal to your 9 plus 3 plus 1. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 plus 1. So therefore simplifying our answer. We have 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So there you have it guys. Our y value for x is 3 is positive 13. Okay? Ganun lang po siya madali guys. Huwag po malito. So gagawin lang natin in order to have a table of values for your y function. Gagamitin na natin yung original given niya formula. Then, just substitute the predetermined x values para makuha natin yung function ng y. The value of your function y, okay? So, I hope you understand, guys. So, that is all for today. I hope you understand our lesson. And thank you so much for subscribing my YouTube channel, Alano TV Official. See you soon, guys, for more and more videos. Mm -hmm.